begin with a search for the gunman who killed a man at a Queen subway station. Police say the shooter knew the victim, but the motive remains unclear. CBS News' John Diaz has more on the investigation and what some local leaders think must change to keep riders safe. Today, police officers were seen patrolling the Jamaica Center Parsons Boulevard station as the hustle and bustle returned. Just yesterday, a terrible shooting happened here, shutting it down. Police say 24 year old Marcus Bathia from Brooklyn was fatally shot right by the turnstiles. The police commissioner tweeting today, in part, the efforts of NYPD detectives are relentless as they investigate the tragic violence. Subway riders say it's left them on edge. These type of people, they, they taking over the stations. There's nothing safe about this place. The latest NYPD stats show subway crimes were up almost 45% last week, 65% for the year, driven by increases in assaults. It's a death trap. That's what this place is now, a death trap. Darlene Blaylock wishes she could avoid the subway, but needs to ride it for work. Ride at your own risk. Today, the MTA chairman said he wants to focus on fair evasion to deter subway crime citywide. We need to further increase law enforcement's visibility throughout the system and to get serious about enforcement of the MTA's long-standing rules of conduct. While Mayor Eric Adams wants to add new technology to the subway that detects guns, the Queensboro president says we should be focusing on gun trafficking. I'm at wit's end on how they are going to resolve this issue. We're chasing our tails because for every one gun that the NYPD probably takes off, we probably got a hundred more coming in or more. And when it comes to yesterday's deadly shooting, he says he's been asking for a permanent police post in the station, which could have prevented the tragedy. One of the things that came to mind right away, John, was anger. Uh, because I pre-warned the NYPD about this specific location. And the NYPD chief of transit says that no officers were by the ticket booth area during the time of the shooting. From Jamaica, Queens, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.